Welcome back, everybody, to the continuation of our Let's Play of Space Exploration and Crastoria 2. So, I've been very busy for a while, and I've made a bit of the train system. Um, we've put down the T intersection over here. Uh, we made a little bit of an arm over here. This arm over here has a way back, and we extended it all the way over here, uh, where we have this magical hookup. It's a very magical hookup because, well, this is more or less one of those intersections you may have known from me for my Pyanodon series. But currently, the whole system over here is hooked up via this little feedway over here. Um, I'll think that will be fine. I'll think that will be very fine. Uh, the thing we're going to be doing today is we are going to be setting up some of the new uh, stations over here. Just so that we can start ordering stuff over here. And just so that we can start getting... Uh, materials in here so that we can start crafting over here and the first thing we should probably do over here is um, deploy these logistic bots in here um, oh he's picking up my call thank you and you know what here man have, have all of these there we go so that we at least have something over here to work with uh, we also do need to design over here um, something 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 in form of uh, a system over here to get these trains unloaded. Um, I think we're going to go with the same system we set up the last time around. Though this time around we do it a little bit better. Good. Um, I think we also need to extend this a little bit. Um, that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That is actually the correct amount. Let me just make it a little bit longer. That is the correct amount. So it already stops over here somewhere. There we go. There we go. Good. Uh, we don't really need to stack trains in here. Um, the, there will be a chest buffer, so that will be fine. Uh, there we go. Not like that. Uh, and the only thing we need to do over here is to connect it up all the way over there. Uh, oh, that's a very nice connection. How does that even work? I see. Uh, over here, of course, um, we do need to hook up to both of them for now. And only for now. Uh, I can already hear people screaming at me going like, Bolt, what the fuck are you doing? Did you make this whole thing? Not in a way so that you don't want to cross streams. Yes, we don't want to cross streams over here. But for now, just for the beginning, we're going to do it like this. Just so that we can get something done. Uh, and at least can start working on the things that we need. Um, there we go. We will optimize that intersection later on. Um, I'm also pretty sure that at the beginning of the setup over here, that there will be not as much traffic uh, from the get-go. But later on, the more stuff we get in, the more stuff we... Um, process in the rubble mall over here of course the more we need um to bring um uh, or to, the more we need to improve this intersection over here good um here we go just do something like this that is fine that is an intersection and then of course on the other side over here uh well we could deploy it the same way but for this one it will be pretty straightforward so just just do this for now uh and later on we will fix it to make it a little bit better good so, this thing over here is technically connected. Uh, the one over here at the bottom, this we are, this one we're going to use as the template. Uh, what we do need is, of course, some chests. There we go. There we go. Put all of these down. Uh, and we're going to need some power. Power is going to be very, very important. Um, there we go. Uh, we should also not forget about the most important thing in our base, lamps. Um, if we don't build any lamps or anything like that, then... Um, we might become uh, accidental cannibals. No, it was barbarians, not cannibals. Cannibals was the other game. <laughs> good, 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 good. There we go. Uh, then we need this. We need that. We need this. Oh, almost. Eep. There we go. And that. Good, good, good. And then we have a bit of a system. Good. Uh, every one of these chests can hold 48 items. Um... Let's see. We do now. We we do have one issue over here, uh, and that is the issue that uh, when do we call upon a train? Uh, these boxes will be unloaded front to back, so the back box over here will be unloaded the last, and we can't really just hook everything up and just wait for like um, a certain amount to go and um, a certain amount of items to be missing. Well, actually, we can do that, but we do have to be a little bit careful about that uh, because the moment we want to order up a train over here is exactly when. Um, we can fit 40 stacks in each of these chests. Um, and that is going to happen if uh, we have basically 8 stacks left in all of these chests combined. And then it basically depends on how much you have. And 8 stacks 
That's only 800 plate. That is not a lot. That could go away pretty, pretty fast. Um, but I think that is the way to do it. We could set this up with a little bit more complex logic. Uh, where we maybe go something like... Um, or we check if we can unload into here. Then we could order up a train earlier. But then again, it's still... The, the robot logistic is pretty straightforward. If they are going to pick something up, they're going to find the uh, nearest chest and they're going to start from over there. So things will be picked up here first, then here, then here, then here, then here, then here, and finally all the way over there. So technically the last chest is the chest that's going to tell us when we want to um, start calling in a train. Can we get all the way over there? No. But well, we'll just go over the power pole. we just go over the power pole. There we go. So even though it might seem a bit uh, um, not efficient, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. But eight stacks. Eight stacks is these stacks over here. Yeah, that's 800 plates. So, um, condition is going to be if everything is less than 800, we are going to open up the station for service. Uh, that's the L signal. There we go. And then you over there. Uh, this is going to be the default uh, mole. Is it 1L or 2L? I think it's 2. <laughs> Re um, default mole request station. Just as a template. Um, so we can set things over here. Uh, we don't really send this to the train. We don't really need to. And the limit will be set over there. Good. And then of this, we can make as much as you want. Uh, we do want to put in things like uh, a signal over there. And then all the way at the end over here. An entrance signal. There we go. Mm, maybe something like this. And then let's see. How thick can we stack this? How thick do we want to stack this? I mean, we could stack this as thick as we need. Like, go completely ham of this. And just do something like this. There we go. There we go. This will give us a whole bunch of slots that are available for us to set up. To bring in stuff from the outside. And we are going to probably be using all of these slots. Because we want to make... We, we have a whole bunch of machines we need to make. A whole bunch of things we want to make. Um, not everything should probably come in via train like this. Uh, but if we just go ham like this, then we are prepared for the future. <laughs> I think this is fine. I think this is perfectly fine. Now, my bots are already very eager to build random stuff. Um, they should not be doing that because we will probably just want to set up one or two of these um, so that we can start working on them. Uh, we also need to cross-connect the power. Mm. Here we go. Can we place this thing over there? And then let's see if we can somehow get over there. How about something like this? Good. Um, that'll be fine. That'll be fine. We can work with this. Um, I guess we can tell our bots to build this for us. And let's just see where we end up. Let's maybe just build the, the bottom four over here. Here we go, here we go, and bots are going at it. Now, uh, in the meantime, I have already built over here um, a station for iron plate, a station for steel plate. These have been filling up slowly over here. We might need to nudge uh, these signals over here, and uh, we will check that out later. Um, but these are ready to go. The same is true over here for copper plate. We already have a station over here for copper plate as well. Um, of course, they do have to go through the um, generic network over here to get to all the way over there. Uh, later on, of course, we're going to be mining the iron over here, the mine, the iron over there, and everything else over here. And we're probably going to set up some some place a dedicated smelting setup. But for now, we're going to use the old facilities to feed the new facilities. Um, I think it's going to be fine. Good. Okay, my lovely bots, could you fix all of this for me, please? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, and they're also, of course, complaining about not having RoboPort coverage. Oof. Did we keep enough space for RoboPorts in here? We did. We did. Mm, we did partially. Fuck. Um, <laughs> of course we did not. Um, no. <laughs> that that, that copy-paste thingy, that, that's probably going to go through the whole thing everywhere. Um, let's see. Now to think about it, we could just put down way more chests, but do we really want to put that many chests down? Hmm. We will have to see about that. But let's maybe place a robot over here. Okay, we, we can do the connection like that. 
Maybe we don't really need to put these rubble ports everywhere in here. Every now and then, I think it's fine. Uh, so that we can also maybe place like one over here. And then at least the connection over here is secure for all of these down here. And they don't complain about it. Yeah, I think I think it's fine. I think it's fine. Good. Make this over here. Uh, I think the connection over there, that is secured. Yes. So we can technically think about ordering up some trains. Um, and the first train, and that will be definitely be the train down here. This is going to be... Not you. This one is going to be... Let's put down the signal. Uh, where is that stuff? It is, it, is it in here? No, I think it's in here. There it is. Uh, Biofuel 1-1 one, one requester. There we go. Uh, this one will definitely be a bit different. Um, actually, no, it will not. Uh, it doesn't really matter because we only check one chest. Uh, Biofuel also stacks up to 100. Perfect. Uh, the first thing we're going to need is definitely a biofuel requesting station uh, to refuel the other trains over here. Um, this station over here will also then be a little bit special, but we're just going to use this over here uh, for that. Um, for the biofuel, we have our power plant over here, and I've already prepared something over here. We are now splicing off um, some of the biofuel that's being made over here, uh, and we have already spliced off some of the biofuel that's being made over here. And it just goes over here into this station over here where we can then set up a Biofuel 1-1 one, one provider. Uh, this one will, I think, always be open uh, because for now, we only will have one train. We will probably set this up later on in a more smart way, but for now, this is fine. And then, of course, you over there, you just need some Biofuel to run. Yeah, let's give you like 25. 25 will be fine. There we go. Um, but, of course, you do need a chest over here uh, and a chest over there. Oh, are we out of these? Uh, let me just steal one. There we go. <laughs> Not the best way to do it, but sure. Uh, then we need a connection over here. And uh, where's my green wire? There we go. Connection over there. This is still correct then. Uh, you're open for business. Um, we go provider. We go Provider again, uh, we go requester, full cargo, empty cargo, send it. Good. Uh, let me just pick up you real quick and place you there. I guess my bots placed it somewhere else. Thank you, bots. May I have another one? Oh, there we go. There we go. Good. Uh, so that we can at least set up the stations for the other ones as well. Now, uh, we do want to set up fuel. Uh, and that's definitely a thing we kind of forgot. So, let's start setting it up. Um, technically, these should be blue inserters. Or green inserters. Actually, a blue one might be enough. It doesn't really matter, to be perfectly honest. Um, and then we just set up, like, 20 fuel over here. 20 fuel over there. And then we're just going to do it like this. Good. Just to refuel all of these trains over here. Um, activate the bots. There we go. Good, 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 good. There we go. Uh, we're going to pull that over all the way to the top. But at least now we can refuel our trains. Um, I also kind of noticed that... <laughs> I was I was preparing trains beforehand. And I was like, yeah, I need five trains. I kind of forgot we run double trains. So I definitely need more trains. Uh, either way, there we go. We're going to set you up over here. Uh, I think you're missing some of these inserters. Yes, you definitely are. We should maybe just go back to the base real quick uh, and pick up some more random stuff. Um, there we go. Let's just fly back real quick uh, and just order up some more trains. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Uh, and then we can at least start setting up the mall over there. Oop. Well, fuck that, I guess. Let's also wait on these bots to come back. Um, where's the fuel train? The fuel train is still sitting in the air, still being filled up. It's probably going to take him a while to be filled up, but that is fine. That is fine. We don't really need that much fuel all the time. And if we do need more fuel, well, we just make more fuel. Good, 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 good. Uh, core mining, by the way. Uh, once we're done with setting up the whole train system, we are going to set up uh, a core mining system. Uh, I do want to get it started because we do need some access to uh, Pyroflux. Um, and I guess getting some access to mineral water is also not too bad. I'm not quite sure what we're going to do with extra mineral water and stuff like that. Um, we definitely do need to do something about that. Um, but we're definitely going to set up a core mining setup somehow, because I do want to get more into that. 
Good. Uh, what do we need? We need more trains. Um, and these are over there. These are not over there because we need more steel. We don't have more steel. Uh, we also don't have more engines. We are missing everything. Um, steel. The steel belt is over here. Then we just consume some of the steel belts. There we go. And then we also need to wait on... There they are. Some of the stack inserters to come in. Good. Uh, and let's just start ordering up some more trains. There we go. Yeah, have this. Make me more trains. You should be good to make at least... Uh, four more trains in total. That should be fine. Let's just wait on one of them real quick. And then you over there, you need some engine parts. Engine parts is pretty easy. Engine parts is over here. There they are. Yeah, give me two snacks. That'll be fine. We should have automated this like ages ago, but we don't really need that many big motors. Uh, but in the mall, we're going to be putting that in as an automation job. There we go. Good. Give me this first. And then we'll just fly back real quick. All the way back to set up everything we need. Good, 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 good. Now, the first intention of the mall is, of course, to make some of these intermediates over here uh, in the mall. Uh, over time, we will probably notice that it will more, probably make more sense to, to pull some of these out into their own facilities. Um... Definitely, we're definitely going to be doing that at some point in time. Especially things like big electric motors and stuff like that. It makes a lot of sense for those. Or even small electric motors. Uh, but for now, we're just going to make stuff in the mall. And once we kind of reach, like, limits of the mall, uh, we start moving stuff out. Um, that's also pretty much how we did it the last time around. And it was pretty, pretty efficient. There we go. Okay, let's finish up whatever is missing over here. There's definitely some green inserts missing here and there. There we go. There we go. There we go. Good. And we're also missing some fuel. Mm. There we go. But we can just fuel you up a bit. And so, oh, train's coming. There he is. Look at him come. There we go. He will unload that into that. Then we'll bring it over here into the train. Uh, and that'll be fine. Good. Um, this thing over here is not the default mall station. No, this one over here is going to be... Where is that thing? Hmm... Where's my plates at? Let's start with iron plate. Iron plate. Two, eight. Oh, I've got caps on. Requester. There we go. Uh, limit the set. Perfect. We got the counter station over here. That is this one. Mm, and that is then going to be iron plate. Two, eight. Provider. Good. Uh, we should set up your train limit and stuff like that. For that, we do need to uh, fiddle around with this a little bit. There we go. No, I'm still... Ah, oh. Wait a minute. Um, there we go. Yeah, being in map mode and in navigation mode is not the way you want to do it. <laughs> uh, this one is hooked up. Perfect. Um, you're only going to open up if there's more than 32,000 in the air, but you need to set the train limit over the air. There we go. Now you're open. Uh, and there's definitely more than 32,000 in the air. Good. Um... Go to the plate provider, go to the plate requester, full cargo, empty cargo, send it. Good. Iron plate, done. Then, this thing over here is going to be copper plate. Here we go. Make a long train. Good. Uh, and then fly to the, back to the front. There we go. Uh, you have there. Not the default station. You are going to become copper plate. Uh, two eight uh, requester. Good. And then copper plate is of course all the way down here. There we go. Um, copper plate two eight provider. Set the limit. Ready to go. This thing is ready to go. Provider, requester, wait a minute. No, that was correct. Uh, full cargo, empty cargo, provider, requester, full, empty. There we go. Send it. Good. And yeah, we're, we're going we're gonna to have a whole bunch of these over here. And I think this is more than enough. And then the bots over here can pick up the plates over here and start crafting with them. Um, there's one more thing we definitely need, um, but we, we could already start setting up these stations for that. This thing, for example, over here is going to become um, the steel requester. Steel, two, eight, requester. There we go. Then, other things we're going to need. Mm, not only steel, we're also going to need things like... We're definitely going to need things like coal and stuff like that, and brick. 
uh, and stone. Mm. For the first productions that we need to do, the first production that we want to do is things like green circuits. So we do need... Let's start with a brick requester first. So let's look up the bricks. That will mean we need to make a brick foundry somewhere. Um, that is fine. We can make something like that. Uh, two, eight, requester. There we go. That's then everything we need to make. Green circuits. Um, let's just have a quick scan to the things that we need. This is all iron. This is all iron. This is iron and copper. This is iron, copper, and loop. And green circuits. Um, that is other stuff as well. We will probably have to build and rebuild some other things. Um, maybe even at some point in time, get in something like um, a green circuit making machine. We might just we might just straight up do the green circuit machine. Do we need bricks for anything else? Yes, we do. Uh, we need bricks for a lot of these machines over here. Uh, I can already tell you that. So we definitely need to get bricks in. Um, so we can make uh, chips in them or green circuits in the base at first. That will be fine. Um, plastic is definitely a thing we need. Um, if we want to make things like rails... Then we do need stone. So either way, we do need a stone requester in here. There we go. Um, he's complaining about no path. That is correct, because there is no path over here. There is a path now. Well, no, there's not. There is a path now. Good. Uh, we're probably also going to need coal in here. Also, there's a whole bunch of trees in here. Can we get rid of these? Thank you. Um, good. Uh, next one over here, this one will be just a coal requester. We need coal for things like grenades and stuff like that. Um, we're going to be requesting coal. Uh, also complaining about no path. That is fine. Um, and then... Anything else in here that we definitely need a requester off from the get-go? Not right now. Perfect. So then we can just build the rest real quick. And then at least we have the basic setup going. We still need to make a stone brick foundry. Uh, let's check. Is there, like, a better way to make brick? I have no clue, to be perfectly honest. Craft. Uh, well, <laughs> one way to make brick is just to make radars and recycle them. Or, um, you cook up stone. <laughs> you just cook up stone. Good. Um, I think our stone brickery that we have in the old base is, I think, only this thing. Um, so we're going to modernize that and make something better. Good, 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 good. And look at that. The first setup is already going. Excellent. Here comes the iron plate train as well. Perfect. Uh, I'm kind of curious to see if we get any kind of traffic jams over here. Maybe. Uh, that's a cold train. Yeah, we're definitely getting traffic jams over here. I can't really see this guy over here just sitting there going like, I want to go over there. Um, but he is not able at the moment. Um, good, 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 good. But they do enter then the circuit over here. Um, and let's have a look over here. If they, once they come over here, we should actually have a ride in one of those trains. But we actually, we can. Whoop. Yep. There we go. Even better. Good. Here comes the coal train. Let's have a look how we navigate through this place over here. He should go all the way over this path. And he already requested this one over there. There we go. And then he goes around. And then he goes all the way around and then in over here. Good, 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 good. And with that, we can at least start automating the production. Now, I will probably start at least something over here, like set up some of the basic machines um, so that we can already get going with, with some of the basics. Um, things like plastic, of course, requires a dedicated build. Concrete is a dedicated build. Green circuits is a dedicated build. Uh, I might do them on video. I probably will also do them off video because these builds, they're not really that interesting. These are just your basic builds about how to make, well, how to make more of, well, where is it? How to make more of this. Uh, and these builds will probably look exactly like this. There will be like a train station coming in with copper plate, iron plate. I might just show them off at the beginning of the video real quick um, just to see how they look at, but, but we will not be planning them or designing them like on the video. Uh, I don't think that's 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 that good of a content. Good. Um, so, what are the next steps we want to do? Well, first of all, like I said, um, we're gonna do set up some core mining because I already want access to some of the power flux, so that we can start thinking about doing things like the advanced iron processing over here. Um, this one over here will, of course, not be will not be running as good as it can. 
But then, then at least we have already set it up. Uh, and then, of course, we need to start getting ourselves... I think we already have researched it. Yeah. And then we need to get, start getting ourselves some Vulcanite in. The Vulcanite is what we need for the Pyroflux. Um, and then once we have a steady source of Vulcanite, we can get into the advanced um, ore processing and also get the production science done. And with production science, we can then start doing other things as well. Another thing that we need to do soon, and I'm already going to click on start over here, uh, is to start up uranium processing uh, because we do need uranium for uh, the uh, production science in space. Good. And copper and iron is there. Um, I'm going to make that um, steel train right away afterwards. Um, and then I will start automating over here. Perfect. Uh, next week um, is also going to be a bit of a rough work week for me. Again, it's hopefully going to be the final rough work week because if if, if it's not going to stop after next week, I'm, I'm just going to order up some vacation. I'm just going to go like, nope, <laughs> nope, 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 nope. Uh, but I think next week will still be rough. But after that, it should be really more and more relaxing. Uh, nevertheless, uh, thank you so much for today. If you do like what you see, please do leave a like, a follow, a comment, a subscription. Every one of those actions does help me out in growing this channel into something bloody amazing. And it has been growing like a charm. Every day I open up my YouTube studio and I see how it has grown. I just get a smile on my face. And it can only grow because of you lovely guys out there that watch my content every other day. Well, probably every day, but yeah. I, I know how I consume my content, so yes. <laughs> Nevertheless, thank you so much for today and have a good one. See you around!